Hello guys, my name is Krono, and welcome back to some more Dust and Legion Tale. And, yeah. Uh, last time we, uh, we beat Fuse, but we, it didn't save, so we have to go through that all again, so. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip some text. And stuff, so. Yeah. Meanwhile, far to the north. Oh, wait, never mind. So, the preparations are nearly complete. We found another of their camps, but. But it was deserted, of course. Keep up your search. They're going somewhere, and we need to know where that is. Of course, sir. If that's all. What of the rumors, Commander? Is there any truth to them at all? We. Oui. Investigating, sir, but surely you don't believe. Commander, it is not your place to question what I believe. My moment of glory draws near, and I want results. As you wish, General. Where are you, my friend? Why are you hiding from me? Yeah, I just left for a while. I just walked out. Okay, so I went through another recording because it was interrupted by the girls and the dog barking. So when we go to the map over here, uh, you could use the right trick and stick to <laughs> see her. She's either eating, sleeping, or gone. So yeah. She's always doing something. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Aurora Village. Wait, what's the green mean? <laughs> Man, I don't know why, but I really, really like the music. It's just so good, and it's so nice, and good, and stuff, and good, and God, and I love it. So, yeah. <laughs> it's great to see you back, son. I knew you could do it. The monsters have already calmed their advance. Tell me, what happened? Did you confront their leader? He was right where you said he'd be. In fact, he seemed to be waiting for us. Waiting? In the middle of a small village, surrounded by the innocents he killed. Oh no. That could only be done on the village. Uh, did you find any survivors? I'm sorry, Mayor Bram, but there were none. This creature that attacked the village, he was some kind of lizard, wore strange armor, called himself Fuse. A lizard, you say? Mm -hmm. A moon blood, perhaps. I wonder if Ginger would know anything about that. Ginger? That girl up on the hill? Her family was killed almost a year ago in Zephyr Village, a few days' journey to the north. General Gaius and his soldiers were looking for moon blood sympathizers. General Gaius, do you know who he is? Not personally. His is not a name we utter here without proper cause. I've never seen him or his soldiers personally. The tragedy has to follow in their wake. So why did they kill Ginger's family? They were helping the Moonbloods, of course, helping the enemy of a treasonous offense. Ginger escaped, but her parents and her brother did not. Regardless. I can't thank you enough for putting a stop to that mad beast before he came any closer to Aurora. If you want to ask Ginger about views, I'd suggest you hurry. It looked like she was preparing to leave town for a while. Good luck. So yeah, we have to go and talk to Ginger. And the girl up the hill. Let's talk to this guy first. Ah, our famed savior. I had hoped you'd come. Welcome to my humble shop. So yeah, uh, just look at his eyes. They're like, they're like blind man's eyes. They're like gray. <laughs> he's, he's blind. <laughs> and so yeah, uh, we have a bunch of stuff that we could sell, but we're not gonna sell them now. Wait, what? Didn't I get a... 
you honor us with your patronage, please tell your friends, your rich one. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I lost it. Uh, view. Yeah, we have just enough to make a chainmail. Equip. Equip. And how much for this? Oh, we have just enough. Okay. Who's that? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's the guy from the beginning. It's the person we saw. Okay, so those the ones those one guys with the club, I think those are lizards too. I always thought they were dogs. <laughs> Tell me about the war. Why are you leaving town? Mayor Bram mentioned you were leaving town. Yes. The rivers and streams around Aurora are beginning to drive completely. Without water, the only thing to do is head north. It's only a matter of time before the others follow me. Why will the rivers all be drying up? It's not like it's been very hot. And wasn't there a big rainstorm a little while ago? I know, it doesn't make any sense. To be honest, I think this whole country is cursed. General Gaius' bloodlust has scorched this land forever. I doubt we'll ever recover. Tell me about the war. Why is Gaius so obsessed with killing these moonbloods? What do they do? Nothing. They exist. General Gaius sees them as an impurity, a kind of cosmic mistake that he believes must be wiped from this world. I've tried to help where I can, but it's hard. There aren't many moonbloods left outside of their homeland. And it's only a matter of time before Gaius wipes them out entirely. Is there anything I can do to help? If only one man could stand against an army. Sadly, no. There's nothing any of us can do. Any help for the moonbloods don't help. If the only way to stop this war is to stop General Gaius, then I need to know where to find him. His campaign continues to the north. If you want to help right the wrongs of the town, I should join him. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> explosion. Whoa, Earthquake! Came from the center of the village. Oh god. I remember that. What? what are these things? Monsters! Ginger, get down! Ah! 
<laughs> boom dead. Oh, never mind. No, boom dead. <laughs> In five and okay? two seconds, um, or th four. You should go down below and find out what's happening. All right. You shouldn't stay here, Ginger. It's too dangerous. Head north. We'll catch up with you after we've gotten to the bottom of this. Stay safe, Dust. We meet again at Rowan Pass, at the foot of the Blackmore Mountains. Where's your gun? Where do I go? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. I'm just gonna... Sorry if that gets kind of annoying, sorry. But I just like to do it, it's faster and easier. Dang it, I'm doing it again. Bram. Good eye, mate. I'm just gonna... <laughs> okay, so later on in the story, you're gonna be able to see, uh... You're gonna be able to see, uh... Uh, Dust's face. But I like the way he looks now, like, when he doesn't have his hat on, you're, like, he, lo he looks a lot uglier, like all the rest of them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I like him better with his hat on. It's one of those cool, I wish I were him kind of things. And here's what happened, and here's this guy again. We've been attacked! The box been open? That's the pen. Did your box have a lot of monsters inside it? How would I know? I've never opened the box. Never. Never. Except. Except once. We have to remain in this way. Okay. Well, I doubt your box had anything to do with this read. Still, I'll keep my eyes open. We Oh. What's that mean? Yeah, we already saw this. I think. Yeah, I are It's already been there like from the start of the episode, so yeah. I've already seen it. It was like to the left on the start of the episode. End of the line. It looks like a pretty nasty drop. Yes. Very nasty. We should go around, I think. There's no time to find another route. Those monsters came up through here. And there's gotta be a path down below. Well, here goes nothing. It's gonna jump. <laughs> Whee! Holy crap. You survived that. You survived that. Well, I mean, of course he did. He's awesome. Did you see something move up ahead? I saw something move. You need to calm down. I thought you said you weren't afraid of the dark. I'm not afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of the things in the dark. I don't see anything, Fidget. How could you possibly see anything in here with that big hat over your eyes? Bunny feet. <laughs> okay, so I'll end the video off here. If you like the video, please leave a like and click that subscribe button if you want some more Dustin and Legion Tale. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.